This is the new Kevin Aquan palette called Blood Roses. Much for joining me today. I'm Nicole and I'm so glad you're here. I'm super excited to tell you about a find that I got at the makeup show pop up in San Francisco this weekend. They had a bunch of different vendors that were, oh, I got so much great stuff. Let me know if you want me to do a haul video. I've been just loving everything that I bought and they had educational seminars there, some that you could sign up for, pay for, and do hands on, but they also just had them kind of going all day long in one area and they were fantastic. I learned so much. There were people uh, there like James Vincent. Um, you know, we had uh, from Senna Cosmetics, we had Eugenia Weston, and oh, I mean, Makeup Forever. I mean, we had like just fantastic makeup artists, NARS. Um, they, it was just fantastic. But anyway, I digress. What we're really here for for this video is Kevin Aquan was there, the, the line Kevin Aquan. Um, uh, Kevin Aquan was always one of my very, very favorite makeup artists ever. I just loved his work, his personality, you know, everything. I grew up, you know, in the 80s. And he was the superstar of, of that time. And uh, anyway, I've just begun using more and more of the products from the line. So when I saw they were there, I popped by and they have this palette. And this palette is not out yet. I can't even find anything about it online yet. So I was like, I need to do a video about this. So I've been using it every day since I bought it on Saturday. It's now Tuesday and just am loving it. It's called Blood Roses. And so it's one of the typical five pan palettes. And I'm assuming it's going to retail for like $58 because that's what the other ones that look like this, what they retail for. And there's a lipstick called Blood Roses, but um, that's the only thing I could find about it online. So I thought I would go ahead and swatch this for you. That's the look I have on my eyes right now and I'm just thrilled with it. I was going to do a tutorial today, but my husband took off with our super good camera. <laughs> and so I just thought I would wait till he got back with that to film the actual look. So let me know if you want me to uh, do a tutorial on this eye look, but I I just think it's really pretty. The colors are gorgeous. And I was a little hesitant at first because there's only two matte shades and I do a lot of matte because I usually only keep anything with shimmer or glitter or a lot of shine on my lid because of my hooded eye. Um, but you know what? The way these go on, I was able to totally use it. So I'm really excited about that. So we'll start with finger swatches, then we'll go ahead and do the brush swatches. So I'm going to start and I'll do the top two colors. Um, they don't have names on the back and the little piece of plastic that was on here didn't have names either. So can't give you any names, but it'll hurt. Go ahead and so there we go. And I did for this lighter color, I was using it completely just, you know, well, with primer obviously, but without any, uh, you know, wetting it or anything. I did wet it a bit today to get a little bit more pop for this video in case you're you're wondering if you get it and use it and you're like, it doesn't look quite that bright on me. I did wet it today with some of the um, MAC stuff, MAC Fix Plus. And then let's do the bottom row. go with the bottom row and I mean look at that aren't those gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I mean I just love the look that I can get and I've tried a few different things with it and I've been totally thrilled every time so now let's do brush swatches and I have my little dealie I picked this up the makeup show too so I could clean off my brush in between and I'm really liking that it's really nice so we'll start out here with the uh, that light pink color I'll just put it here next to it so you can see it Interesting, the brush swatch actually looks darker than my finger swatch. Here goes the next color. You guys know I'm absolutely in love with my Kevin Aquan Legacy palette. Look at that. That is just so pretty. Oops. I didn't line it up exactly, but well, you guys get the idea. I'll try to line it up better now. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll get this color here. And this one, you know, it is very light, but on my skin, it doesn't show up very well, but somebody who has a little bit more pigment to their skin may look a little bit better. Um, but it does show up on my eye, especially, you know, when I have the primer on. Okay, and then this one here. I mean, they're just beautiful. They're so beautiful. And they wear like a dream. I mean, the Legacy palette I have, I've been so thrilled with the quality of those shadows, and these are just like that. And here's our last color. 
so you can kind of compare. But now the cool thing about the makeup show is that all those vendors are giving discounts. I believe it was 40% off at Makeup Forever. I believe it was 30% off at Kevin Aquan. So the nice thing was that I got this at a really great price and I totally think it's worth it. I think it's probably worth the $58 because this is the type of palette that, you know, you use very little product to last you forever. And it's just, it's just so pretty and so nice. A couple other things I picked up at the makeup show because there was such a great discount on Kevin Aquan, although I did hold myself back, I have to tell you. It was really difficult, but I've been eyeing this forever. This is the Neo Bronzer, and this is in Sienna. This is the Warm Coral. And I have been looking at this forever. In fact, I was at Sephora, and I almost picked it up, and I didn't. And then I went back on a different day, like three days later, and they were all gone. And so I was like, it's meant to be because I was able to pick this up. And I do have the bronzer on. I'm not wearing this blush right now because it's, um, you know, a little too corally, I think, for the eye look that I've got. It's okay. I, I did wear it with it on Sunday, but I just thought for this video, I'd go kind of more for the whole kind of rose colored hues uh, throughout. But in case you haven't seen this, it's, it's pretty cool. So this is a highlight. This is your blush. And then this is your bronzer. So let me find a spot on my arm here to do that. And so there you go. Now you'll notice though that the highlight is a bit more subtle. So if you want seen from the moon highlight, this isn't going to be the one that you like, but on an everyday basis, I prefer not to have that much glow going. So it's perfect for me. And then of course I picked up one of the uh, wonderful lash curlers that they have. And I always love that they put red inside of theirs instead of black. So when you hold it up, you can really see where you have it um, because it's not black. You know what I mean? You can see the red on your lashes and really see where you're about to squeeze. So I think they're pretty awesome. And with the discount, this was only $12. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have this. I'd love to give you more information. If you have any questions, do ask below. If you want me to do a little video about the makeup show pop-up and what that was like, I'd be happy to tell you all about it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are.